shoulder day, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> Taking a pre-workout? I do not. I actually have never even tried. Any never taken pre-workout? No. You haven't lived. What is it? Basically, just caffeine. So this one isn't. This one's a pump product. It's called High Volume. It's basically like a vasodilator, so it'll expand your blood vessels, like rush water in, and you get a bigger pump. <laughs> yeah. It's for the pump, man. I always thought it was like Gatorade, a bit fancier. The like pre-workout? Yeah. Uh, Gatorade's just sugar water. Oh. Built in shaker. <laughs> Two scoop family. Oh, you just do it like that? You don't put it in your bottle? No, it's raw. Oh, God. What flavor is it? Melon, berry twist. Pretty is good. It, is it good? Yeah, it's kind of grainy, but I mean, what do you expect? I just took it to the dome. <laughs> Works faster that way. I don't want to have to sip on it, you know? Yeah. Because then I got to warm up and stuff, and then now it's already in my veins. It's 15. Fuck. All right. So I have a confession. I think you already know this. I don't listen to like hardcore rap or like anything like hard when I work out. I listen to like 70s rock. Okay. I don't know anything about it, but. You're about to find out. Here it is. <laughs> Absolute banger right here. Jesse is a friend. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I know he's been a good friend of mine. Lately something's changed, it ain't hard to define Jesse's got himself a girl and I want to make her mine And she's watching him with those eyes And she's loving with that So you just saw me hit the foam roller, warm up my spine, there's something called thoracic extension. Should I be looking at the camera or you? Both. Okay. <laughs> so, something called thoracic extension, so basically like when you're doing any overhead shoulder press or even like chest press, you want to have your chest puffed out and if your thoracic spine is too tight, it limits your range of motion. So that's basically the whole purpose of that. Yeah. I know a lot of people that don't really know why they're foam rolling. Now you know. But now I'm gonna hit a little rotator cuff exercise. So this is one of my favorites. It's called external rotation. If you don't have a machine like this, you can just hold like a dumbbell or a little weight plate. It's only on 10 pounds. Yeah. And you just roll back, externally rotate. And it just warms up your rotators within your shoulder. It's important for just like any pressing movement and basically everything, just to keep your shoulder healthy. Do you have any thoughts on foam rolling your back? Like if it's bad for your spine or anything? I mean, in like foam rolling, would yeah. that be bad? No, I mean, if you have like a disc injury, I probably wouldn't, but if you're a healthy individual and you're just trying to get better pumps, better gym workouts, I would say for everybody, it's only a positive. So I was looking at a bunch of Evos and Three of them that I tried to look at, there were two white ones and one black one. They all got sold, but last night one got traded into a BMW dealer in Camarillo. Uh -huh. But they're closed on Sundays for some reason. So I'm you gotta scoop it up on Monday? Well, tomorrow, which is Monday, I'm gonna try to look at it. Hopefully yeah. it's ready. Because uh, yeah, they literally just got it yesterday. Damn. And it's a asking? white 2014 manual. Wow. On paper, it looks perfect. And I had my friend run the VIN. Uh -huh. It's been in California its entire life. Uh, I'd be the third owner, which is not bad. What does the VIN tell you? Like, if it you can ever... see if it's been an accident, um, where the vehicle has been, where it was purchased, oh, how damn. many miles are on it, any maintenance records that it has. Came back clean, that's good. I usually do this for a while. Oh, I gotta lube up the joints. Still warm, I'm sorry. We're going yeah. light. I hit my triceps because I'm doing a lot of pressing. I'm gonna start with shoulder press. So anytime you're up here, you gotta make sure the elbows are nice and looped. Usually do a little one arm too. So I'll dual arm it, walk it out here a couple steps. Really squeeze this. Worst thing you can do is 
hop into a workout cold. Yeah. You're not even going to be strong, and you're going to hurt yourself. It's the worst of two evils. So next, after tricep extensions, I always do a couple hammer curls. Get my biceps warmed up. Never can be too warm here. Are you wearing the hoodie just because you're colder for, for the purpose of warming up faster? Yeah. Actually, <laughs> since you asked, I only wear the hoodie because I don't have a pump yet. You don't have what? A pump. What does that mean? Like, I don't look big yet. <laughs> That's a trick of the trade. <laughs> Some people will tell you like, oh yeah bro, like, I'm not warm enough yet. But, it's really just because you don't look big yet. I look flat. But just wait. Is it bulking season? Or is it yeah. cutting season? It's bulking season. But I just started dieting a little bit. So I'm a little, a little thick, but not too fat. So I hit my elbows, biceps, triceps, I'm gonna hit my rear delt. It's important to warm this up, just for overall shoulder health. So chest against the pad, squeeze every rep. So after I hit the rear delt fly, I do some side laterals just to warm up my shoulder. Feet together, dumbbells in front, and I go up. You see a lot of people when they do these, they'll bend their elbows like this and do one of these. And you gotta think about it. I mean, that is hitting your delt, but the longer the lever is, basically the longer your arm is extended, the harder it is, right? Yep. So ideally, chest up, you want it as wide as possible. Up. I just realized that when we were talking a little bit over there, and, you, and I said uh, this helps with like the pump, and then I keep my hoodie on for the pump. You had no idea what the pump was. That's like sacrilege in all of bodybuilding. Might get some, uh, might get some backlash for that. Oh yeah. It's what, what's the difference between E85 and 91 octane fuel? Well, <laughs> 10 octanes. Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just we're gonna name this our. Our car gym vlog. All right, so I'm actually not here to work out. I'm basically here to bother this guy <laughs> as he does his workout. Yeah, don't bother me, dude. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm sore everywhere. I went too hard this week. So I'll probably do like just pull-ups while he does his scary workout stuff. All right, just one more warm-up set, and then we'll be good. Uh, same thing. Oh, so you're, you're just repeating stuff. I just do it until I'm like comfortable picking up heavier weights, you know? Yeah. It's like running. We wouldn't go hard until we, yeah. were, we felt comfortable. Exactly. Stretched out a little bit. Can't get hurt. Yeah. Can't make gains if you're hurt. You're getting old too. Yeah, dude. I'm an old man. <laughs> 21. Dude, somebody said I look 30. You do. What are you trying to say? <laughs> it's the beard. Yeah. All right, so first exercise, I hit seated dumbbell press. The only reason I do this is because these benches aren't bolted like at usual gyms, so. I've Vital. never seen these bolted to the floor at any gym that really? I went to. Really? Yeah. Any commercial gym, they're usually bolted. I mean, some aren't. My college wasn't, but... My college isn't. Cal Bass is where I go is, isn't. I move around all the time. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I think even when I went to 24 hour, they weren't bolted they weren't down. bolted? Yeah. I wish they were bolted, like... Because that sucks. The first time I did it, I was pressing. 
and it was like struggling, so I like, pressed back and eventually like, flipped on it. What? Yeah, because like this is just unstable. I have never seen that happen or had that happen to me. I hope it doesn't happen today. <laughs> so I hit like three sets of light shoulder press before I start. Yeah. Just so I'm nice and warm, like in the motion. Because my shoulders are pretty warm right now, but I want to be able to like confidently grab heavy weight. So we're nice and slow. Notice my shoulders are really retracted. the same lens? No, this is the vlogging cheap lens. The ones we had on before though? Yeah. Oh, nice. I use this lens because I can zoom. And, uh, oh, I'm going to get really technical if I start explaining it. Are you going to zoom in on my bicep? You getting that? I am right now. You getting that? No. I don't see it. <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Since we talked last, we hit shoulder press over there with dumbbells. Yep. I did three sets of like six to eight and then we went over there and did the behind the neck press that's my favorite shoulder exercise of all time shout out to my buddy Ryan Barber guy I used to train with back in college he showed me that it's basically like a drop set so you do like a weight that you can do for eight reps and then you pull off like a ten or a five or whatever you have and then do it for another eight and pull off a plate and then do it for another eight it's like it's the gold standard in my opinion. If you're not doing behind the neck press, you should. It's kind of dangerous though, but once you're warm, like you saw me warm up, it took me like an hour before I even started. So um, after that, we're doing side laterals. Same thing I warmed up with. Going a little heavier, doing 25s. Um, for this one, I sit down, because when I stand up, I put a little body English into it and I swing around. So nice upright, dumbbells at my sides, going up and back down. What's up, dude? <laughs> this is my buddy Christian. Christian Edgar. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> We're shooting a porno. Oh shit! How was you guys beating? <laughs> this is myself, though. It's like a, it's like a one-on-one porno. What happened to your knuckles? You punch somebody? No. Punch a wall? Punch a couple walls? Maybe. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, we're vlogging. Oh god. He's vlogging. I'm vlogging. <laughs> you, you don't support my vlogging, Joe? Huh? You don't support my vlogging? I mean, I gave you the idea, so I should probably... Yeah, you did tell me. A lot of people tell me this. I'm like, maybe you should start a vlogging channel. I just have never had the proper equipment. Ergo, <laughs> the camera. Yeah. 
catch this on YouTube with all my zero subscribers. Okay, you're gonna be my first subscriber, bro? I'll be your first subscriber, and then I'll also be your first subscriber too. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> Means a lot. What do you call this? I don't know, dude. Like, we'll name it on the spot. Close grip, front raise, kneeling, press. <laughs> Put that in bodybuilding.com. I got rejected from Vermont. You got from Vermont. I got rejected. You got rejected from Vermont. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the support, bro. Triceps. Are you done with your workout? Yeah, pretty much. Alright. What should are you I doing? explain? I should tell you what I did for triceps, huh? So you I should let me switch lenses first because this is really difficult. Okay. <laughs> so for triceps, um, we start off with uh, tricep extensions on the straight bar. I use a bar that doesn't rotate because it helps my wrist stay straighter. Whenever I rotate, I get a little pain in my wrist. So I hit that. And then I was right here, you saw me doing um, Easy bar French press. So that's one when you're right here. Flare your elbows out and extend. That's a good mass builder. That's one of my favorites. It doesn't hurt my elbows. I used to do dumbbell skull crushers. That's another good one. But I like those a little bit better. And then I finished off with the one arm tricep um, cable extensions. And I like that because it's like an isolation that just really smokes the triceps at the very end of the workout, you know? No. <laughs> And that's it. Um, I might do a little bit of stretching. Probably make not. sure you like and subscribe. Oh yeah, make sure to like and subscribe <laughs> to my new YouTube channel. Um, new videos every time I post one. <laughs> that's not a lie. That's my first subscriber. Oh no, he's really positive. Alright. Can you jump onto this from the ground? No. Really? I don't even think I can jump on this. 
What? Dude, my legs are sore. I'm sore. I just trained my legs. It's recording. What are you gonna jump on? I'm gonna try this. <laughs> oh, dude, you cleared that. <laughs> Get this. Okay. You won't. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, well, you gotta tell me, bro. Wait. Oh! <laughs> Do it again, I didn't catch it. <laughs> that kind of hurt. I didn't warm up. It's alright. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, God. Wow, that's impressive. I can feel it. Stand know. next to it. I don't know what these are called, but I can feel that area. Stand next to it. <laughs> Stand next to it. See how high it is. Rib cage area? It's not that high. I've done higher. Wow, dude. <laughs> what an athlete. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Ooh, we should climb the rope. Hell no. Can you climb the rope, bro? Yeah. You I'm kind of high. frightened to go that high. I'm it's not, once you get up there, it's not as bad. Just don't look down. <laughs> I do it at Santa Monica, but this is even higher than that. Yeah. I didn't sign the waiver. Uh, you signed the waiver at one point. <laughs> I'm not going all the way up. All the I way. don't know if it's recording. I, it wasn't recording back then. Yeah, here. it's recording. Are you sure? It says wreck. <laughs> is there a, like a time stamp? <laughs> it says wreck, bro. Yeah, okay. Look, it's a time stamp. It's okay. wreck. Oh. To the top. You're halfway. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Dude, this is so Go all the way. Just don't look down. It's weird up here. Don't look <laughs> Don't get hit by the fan, bro. <laughs> Don't look at the fan. <laughs> First mistake you do if you look at the fan, you start looking up. Alright, I did it. Back to the top. Uh, do I have to do anything? No, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> now just slide your way down. <laughs> How high is this, you know? Yeah, it's gotta be at least 30 feet. It'll be fine. I've seen little girls do that. So oh. I'll go all the way up. Dude, that was dope. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, don't fall. Oh, I, can, I can fucking do it, but I'm scared of heights. <laughs> <laughs> look down, dude. Just look up. Only up? Go halfway at least. Oh, fuck that. You didn't even go like two feet off the ground. Yeah, fuck that. You're scared of heights, really? Yeah. Do you get claustrophobic? No, I'm just scared of heights. <laughs> I'm not scared of like heights on airplanes, <laughs> but like climbing a rope. Have you been ziplining? No. We should go ziplining. Just to get over the fear? Yeah. I'm gonna stick to bodybuilding, you know, on the ground. Or we should just go skydiving. No, nah, dude, fuck that. That was pretty sick, though. But you know what the Grand Canyon, like that observation deck with the glass floor? Yeah. Would you walk onto that? No, no shot. <laughs> I would never do that. I wouldn't even go to the one in Chicago. I mean, what if, we'll just drug you and then put you there. So you start freaking out when you wake up. Yeah, dude. In Beverly Hills, there's a store. Is it the one with the slide? I don't know. Well, the, the, the floor is like glass and they have like mannequins underneath. Would you walk on that glass floor? Like How far is it? Like a 10 foot drop? Yeah, I'd probably do that. <laughs> yeah. I just know I could like literally die from this. I don't have grip strength. You told me to do it? Yeah, but you're an athlete. I'm not an athlete. Dude, snap my neck. Your knees are going to pop out. Yeah, the ground. I, need, I need my knees. <laughs> Do this, oh, do they just like jump up to the next step? Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, kind of. I don't know if I could do that. I don't think I can. I'm doing this one time. That, no, that's easy. I've never tried. It's not that hard. Oh, I thought we were gonna like jump at it. Oh, not no, do you can one. do that too if you want. I've done that. It's a little bit sketchy though when you because <laughs> sometimes your arms slip around. You yeah. Get your arms off, like, Alright, turn around like a monkey bar. Come on. Don't look down. Are you frightened right now? Yeah. How do I grab that? Uh, one arm. Yeah. Fuck. Come on, chief. Fuck. There you go. Turn around. Monkey bars, dude. Oh, fuck, like, turn around. Jeez. Fucking shoulders gonna snap. Have you not done monkey bars? Yeah, when I was like four. <laughs> I was like 100. Oh! He's fast at it. I've done this so many times, dude. <laughs> I literally live here. Oh, Anthony lives here too. Yeah, dude, I'm a pussy. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, here. My turn. Still recording. It's not as hard as you think it is. 
I thought it was pretty fucking hard. <laughs> See, oh go. my god! <laughs> my hands are good. I know, I look fucking. That's what hurts the most. Since it's wood, since it's actually wood, your hands get fucked. That was impressive. Or I'm just a puss. <laughs> oh, dude, this guy's. Right, now jump from that side to the one behind you. That's so cool. What? Oh, shit. No shot. <laughs> That's not possible. Wesley's That's done definitely it. possible. Have you ever done it? Dude, we need to go to Santa Monica and do the, go from the swing bars. Prove it. Let's see it. I can't do that, dude. Try it. Too small. A, try it. I'll, do, I'll try if we move the pad and move the lid, but I'm okay. not doing it with the lid there. I have never done that. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, you need to do a two-way, so you can go from there to there. No way, bro. Go from there to the bar. No shot you can... Because then you have to... You saying no shot makes it one shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then you gotta... But then you gotta grab two small... I'm tired. I see you start here. Yeah, I'm going to. Alright, objective. Go from the cylinders to the bar. <laughs> That's far. <laughs> you gotta swing. You gotta yeah, get, no. get this I do the swing bars in Santa Monica. Yeah, oh, dude, you gotta get momentum AF. No, I'm gonna overshoot this. No, he's got it. Yeah. Okay, that's easily doable. Easily? I had to get a feel for it. Alright, let's see. I'm just gonna stay recording. <sighs> I'm gonna puss out though. I'm mid flight. <laughs> oh god. Maybe you could do it. If you can get the feel, you could go from that to that. Get the feel for it. No, just do it. Full send. Full send. I don't like saying that, but... Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna put that one. Should I, should I put this for Instagram? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a puss. <laughs> just get some big You're momentum. Big, mom, big momentum, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. You gotta, you gotta work on the pressure. Cut this clip. <laughs> Nah, bro, we stayed recording. <laughs> you said okay. full send. Full send implies you record. Alright, Enzo, try to do one and come back. Oh, God, dude. Oh, shit, oh, shit dude. Oh, shirt's off. Shredzilla. Not even big. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, that's not a good start. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a good start. I'm just being honest with you, bro. Oh, I need a focus. All right, I'll shut up. <laughs> well, dude's downing himself. That's not good. He's about to take his pants off, dude, for what you're next to. Pants down. you know it's oh, real. <laughs> Brad Cal's career. Okay, okay, okay. I want to take your underwear off. Might as well just go for something like this. Spin around. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Don't let go. Now get a swing and grab back. I need the pad there. <laughs> Edgar, move the pad. I can't hang Hold on, here. bro. Hold on. My arms are gonna get Bro, out. hold on. Your life depends on this. <laughs> hold this on, bro. He's rotating on me. He's That's gonna like grab those. It. It's supposed to make it difficult. Even rotating bars makes it really difficult. Good, bro. Come on. <laughs> oh! I was too tired. The floor is lava. <laughs> You touch that rack, the top of the rack? Me? Yeah. That? The black. The black bar. Dude, maybe, I don't know, here. Can you? Yeah. Can you grab the top now? Oh, I don't know if I'm grabbing it. Oh, yeah. I'm on it. The stakes have been set. Let's see, let's see. Hey, you gotta touch it first. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. How high is that? 30 feet. I think it's a little, uh, I don't know. Eight feet, probably. What are you, five, six? He just called you 5'6". How close am I? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You were like... Four inches? Four inches! <laughs> Let's see you grab it. Can you touch it, Edgar? I don't think I can. Bro, I had like a 20 foot run up. <laughs> I can't do one of Grab it. Oh, yeah. I definitely can. You could probably do it. He's jumping on boxes and his rib cages. I'm just trying to dump it. Ah! <laughs>
got it though. Your hand. Yeah, you can just if you can get your finger I over. I got it one-handed. If you can get your finger over though. No, I didn't that time. <laughs> oh, you mean like grab it? Oh, that thing's dusty up here. You're probably gonna slip your fucking hands. It's all right. <laughs> Don't think about it. Next, next Thanks guys, I'm trying to cut that very well. <laughs> I can't plug in. Yeah, I couldn't even get my hand above that. That's probably just like rim height, bro. Maybe this is how you're gonna test if you can dunk. Fuck! <laughs> if you can't get that, you can't dunk. I don't know, my butt is sore from the weighted jumps. Why? What's going on in your butt? Oh, weighted jumps. No. Oh god. <laughs> oh, yeah, watch out, punching bag there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goal, get road, road rash. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, the There's no ball. way. You don't have the balls to film in public. Dude, I can't. You think I won't? I don't think you Bet. will. Bet. You know, your first vlog. My first vlog. Walk around. <laughs> well, let's go to like the mall. Let's go somewhere real public. Honestly, the mall? There's like 30 people at the mall in Santa Clarita. Right now, I the mall's closed. Usually. <laughs> oh. The mall's at 6. Yeah, it's a Sunday. What, what's even open right now? There's food places open. What the you can go to the club right now. Okay, so we just finished our workout. I finished filming uh, Anthony's video. So he wants to learn how to drive stick. I got my Miata here. So we're going to see how long it takes him to learn manual. Decently. Time me. <laughs> I say within five minutes. I get it. I say five seconds and then you stall. So uh, my friend Lauren, I taught her for the most part how to drive manual. Uh -huh. She didn't stall once. My ex-girlfriend never stalled once either. Well, in these a are big line. shoes to fill. And then she had never driven stick at all. Yeah, I've never driven Have stick. Have you ever played Forza? Yeah. Have you played Forza with clutch and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've okay, do you, do you have like any idea what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm gonna... Clutch in this face. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you know you have to push the clutch in and stuff before you go into gear and everything, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to sit in the car? Or... Yeah, bro, sit in the car. I was, just gonna, I, want, I, I was want. gonna chase you. I didn't think you were gonna take off. <laughs> just give me the low down. All right. So put your foot on the brake pedal with your right foot. Parking brakes down. Okay. So push the clutch in with your left foot. All the way. Yeah. To the. You have to be able to push it to the floor. Okay. And then put in first gear. Uh, are you in first? Are you sure? So there you go. And now start giving it gas. And as you give it gas, take your left foot off the clutch slowly. Oh, that is way too much gas. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make a loop, I guess. <laughs> so stay in first, go around this corner. Okay, so now push the clutch in and put it in second. Push the clutch in, get off the gas. And now you come on, yeah, there you go. <laughs> you can push the clutch in and go into third if you want. Whenever you push the clutch in, get off the gas too. Okay. So now brake, push the clutch in, and put it back in a second. And then off the clutch slowly. Hey. Get a catch. Get off the clutch. I'm off the clutch. And then you've gas. Oh, you're in neutral, you're in neutral, you're in neutral. Clutch in, second gear. Clutch in to the floor, second gear. Now you can give it gas and off okay, the clutch. Okay, caught. <laughs> there you go. How was that? All right, so clutch in. Put it in neutral, which is in the middle, and then brake to stop. We're gonna try taking off again. You don't. So we'll go all the way up to Edgar. Okay. Why? Why was my takeoff like sketchy? You were fast off the clutch. Okay. You, the amount of gas you give it is fine, but you have okay. to be smoother. You, okay. you have to get a feel for. It. <laughs> all right. So. The clutch in, first gear, gas, and off the clutch. So foot off the brake. And then is it simultaneous? Yeah. So it's the equidistant like amount sure. of travel? Sure. You'll get a feel for it as you do it more. <laughs> so that you can come off the clutch slower or give it less gas. A little did, slower still. Did mine do that? You, you gotta find the point where the clutch starts hitting the flywheel. You can feel it in your foot. Oh, <laughs> God damn, oh, this, this, isn't, this isn't sounding so good. <laughs> What's his problem? You come off the clutch too fast. Don't come off the clutch so fast, Ed. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Stop alert! You could have given it more gas that time. So we have to push the clutch in to restart the car. Eesh, Edgar. What's going on on your record, bro? <laughs> Oh you off the clutch too fucking fast, dude. <laughs> yeah, That's the only thing I have. No, I started again! <laughs> oh, no. Alright, you just lost privilege. <laughs> I lost privilege. I can't. It's the clutch that fucks me over. It yeah. takes practice. The, honestly, the best way to learn is just to buy a manual car. I think I will. And then it'll force you to learn. Yeah. Because you have to drive it home. Have you ever stalled on, like, when you first learned, like, in the middle no, of the I, I didn't know how to drive manual when I bought a manual car and I drove it home. I probably start, stalled, like, six times. Really? Home. Yeah. All right, let me try this again. <laughs> All right, so I'm winning a bet here. I'm vlogging in public. Just set it a little in and out. Nothing crazy. Did you know how to hit the record button? Yeah, dude, I hit record. Oh. I know what I'm doing. This is my first time. <gasps> All right, we're gonna go full vlog mode. I'm gonna cross the street vlogging. Whoa. Vlogging what? Myself, bro. Can't just vlog. Watch this risk. Look, not even looking. How far do I hold it out? Wherever you want, it's fine. Because it's very wide. Okay. Assuming you didn't zoom it in. I don't know, did I? You can hear that BRZ, that hyper blue BRZ. No. Oh no, that's a WRX. WRX, baby. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Wait, so bodybuilders can have in and out? Yeah, bro. Cheat mail. Oh. That's thick. With three C's. Actually, four C's. Yeah, I got a regular cheese. <laughs> it's alright, bro. I'm compensating. <laughs> so, do I end it? Just Post workout meal. In and out. What'd you think, bro? <laughs> that was a cheeseburger. Oh, yeah, when you're vlogging, you gotta hold the camera straight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Post workout meal. In and out. Take two. <laughs> You mean you start over? <laughs> Bus work got meal, in and out, went down, four by four. That yeah, was a I cheeseburger. A, I had a basic single cheeseburger. I pretty did. lightweight. How do you feel? I feel pretty lightweight still. Yeah? It's alright. It's <laughs> not sitting in my stomach. I feel ready to run. Oh kind of. Oh god. We got a little no, marathon here. LA Marathon yeah. was today, bro. Yeah, that was today. It. You missed uh, it. One of my friends' dad ran it. I don't really? How'd he do? I don't know yet. Damn. I saw a picture of him though. Damn. <laughs> alright, thanks all right, for the bro. workout. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. Catch you later. Good stuff. <laughs> Yo, peace.